Miguel Solis is a Dallas ISD board trustee. We appreciate you being here with us tonight. To Thank you for having me. Talk about what everybody is talking about here in North Texas. All right, you supported Mike Miles all along. So how are you feeling tonight? Well, I mean, you know, you look at the, the uh, tenure of the superintendent and their ups, there were downs. You know, the, I was a supporter of the superintendents, but I will say that we didn't agree on everything. Um, but we had a good working relationship, a, a relationship that I think is critical for district success. A board member who's willing to let the superintendent know what they think, but also willing to try to support the foundational components of their agenda. Um, that's the type of relationship we had. So I'm a little disappointed, uh, but not necessarily because of the man himself. I'm disappointed because of what this means for the future of our city and our school system. This board is going to have to be very serious moving forward about how we attract the best candidate we can attract to move our school system forward and so I'm optimistic that we'll be able to do, get that done right um, and I dedicate myself to the community to make sure that I do a full faith effort in finding that next leader all right so you sound really optimistic but I have to tell you a lot of your fellow board members they don't feel that way a lot of them I think pretty pleased by the news today in fact let's let's mm -hmm. take a listen to this yeah And some of the board members, including myself, had some concerns about the direction of the district and where the district was going. Uh, this gives us an opportunity as a board to call an emergency meeting uh, and to look at where we are and which way we're going to go from here. So is this a good day for DISD? Um, it's a good day for me. Uh, <laughs> It's a good day for her. So I, when you hear that, how do you get anybody to come in and take over when, when those are the kind of comments coming from, from board members? Well, look, um, I am one board member, okay. right? And I've had a unique opportunity to be a teacher in our school system, an administrator, and now an elected official. I served as the president last year. Um, what I would dedicate myself to do is to try as best as I can to work with my colleagues to try to show the next superintendent that we bring in, that Dallas ISD can continue to build on the foundation that Mike Miles has set. Um, board members are going to disagree on all sorts of things. Right. Uh, and that's Dallas ISD. As anybody ISD. in business does. Absolutely. But I think at the end of the day, I don't question the motivations of each trustee. We all have different w ways of going about it. Sure. But we're in it for the kids. So we're going to have to work together to try to find uh, the next person. Well, so it's interesting. Steve kind of went over this mm -hmm. shortly before you and I started talking about just the number of superintendents who have, you know, it's a, a revolving door. So. Uh, at what point does the board go, oh, maybe it's not them, maybe it's us? I mean, I, it can't always be their fault, right? Completely agree Meaning with you. Meaning the superintendent's fault. Completely agree with you. I think that the board needs to really do some soul searching uh, moving forward. This isn't a, a, an issue unique to Dallas ISD, though it happens in Dallas ISD. This is a national issue. Can a large urban uh, superintendent um, actually be able to move a district forward while working hand in hand with uh, a board? I believe it's possible. I believe the superintendent was beginning to make headway in some ways. Um, there are decisions he could have made, I think, better that some uh, trustees uh, would have wished he would have made a different way. Um, but we can't play money more than a quarterback now. Uh, my focus is moving forward, trying to find uh, the next high qualified uh, superintendent to move this district uh, ahead. All right, so given what you just said, do you think that he resigned on his own truly to spend time with family, or do you think he was? kind of pushed in that direction. I believe he resigned uh, fully on his own accord. Um, any Every indication that I had leading up to this and mm -hmm. the conversation that I was able to have with the superintendent uh, today uh, leads me to believe that he left on his own. So he went back to family. So let's bring this back to family. You're getting married soon. You want to yeah. have a family, raise him here in Dallas ISD. How do parents feel come August? There's not a leader in place. How do we feel about sending our kids back to school? Should we have confidence in the district? Yeah, so this is what I would say to parents and children. Um, we're going to work as a board, hand in hand, with each other, all nine of us, to make sure that we have a superintendent come August of next school year. Um, and what I would tell them is also this, uh, we need their help. We need their support. We need to listen to them. We need their ideas on what they would like to see uh, for the next superintendent as well. I can't promise a miracle, uh, and I won't do it. But that's I, a very short amount of it's time. It's a very, it's extremely short amount of time. Um, but that is the task at hand. And I think, as you heard Mayor Rawlings state uh, earlier, uh, the, the goal for the board is to work feverishly mm -hmm. um, in an expedited fashion to find the right person. Right. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go out to the community and hear what they have to say, but I'm not going to lose focus on what the superintendent was actually able to establish in conjunction with this board. Uh, we have schools of choice. We have expanded pre-K. We have a new teacher evaluation system and performance system and pay system. We have a new principal evaluation system. Uh, 
we need to applaud those things and we need to ensure that as a board we can continue to move those things forward and find a superintendent who will help us do that. Well, some people liked all those things, some people didn't, and that's where the back and forth goes, but you got a lot of work to do between now and August, so I'll let you get to it. Thank yeah. you so much, Miguel. Thank you very much. Appreciate you coming in and just, you know, we'll keep following and, you know, it's, it's about not only Miles' family, but about the families here. Absolutely. And what happens in North Texas. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.